But how did Detroit avoid that decline well, in your opinion? You touched on a couple of them, Giuliani, Giuliani Pistone, but really, if you really want to trace it back to one person, it's it's John Gotti and Sammy the Bull, whatever. Yeah, that yeah. whole debacle right there. And by the way, Jack Toko hated John Gotti because uh, Paul <laughs> Castellano was his gumbadi. That was his boy. They used to, right, he could go out right. there and see him every year. He'd go to the White House, all that. Oh, wow. You know, my grandpa would tell me stories. But here's what they would do um, differently. Here's the main reason. And this is, I'm just a theorist here. Right? Like, yeah, like anybody else. I'm, I'm not an expert here. Um, yeah. This is my theory based on my intimate inside knowledge of, of that family and how it works. But, you know, you, you, you're familiar with the Ritz Carlton hit. We just talked about it. Before. You know, but I want, but you got to share because it it's one of my favorite stories, man. Okay. Let me give you an idea of the power and the depth and the magnitude of the Detroit Mafia's reach in this world. Yeah. Try to grab this because it's going to sound like it's fiction and it's going to sound like it ain't real, but it's real. Yep. So there was a black dude who was cultivated an asset by Tony Jacaloni, the guy I was just talking about. He liked blacks. He liked to cultivate them and, and put them in the drug game, supply them with heroin, and say, yeah. you know, he basically made black mafia family. Literally, that's yeah. who it yeah. was with Bill Usher yeah. and his yeah. black mafia. So the one you're watching now on, on Stars was created by Tony Jack, and you can trace that back. Yeah. So... There was this black. Uh, there was this black dude named Fiona something another. Um, he was dealing with a Jewish guy who was a middleman for Tony Jack. So there was Tony is up here. The next guy down was this Jewish dude, and and he was running this Fiona guy's drug ring. So the FBI pull over this Fiona's guy. He's kind of a pretty boy, and he's kind of famous because he he had already married like one judge, and now he's married to a different judge. So I guess he's a player. Yeah. And so they put pull him aside and says, "Listen, we know what you're doing." You're going to go to prison. We, we don't have an indictment on you yet, but we're going to get one. So you have a yeah. choice. You can tell, you can work with us, or you can go to prison, make your choice. And he kind of said, well, I don't want to go to prison. He's like, okay, so what is it going to be? And the witness protection? And they're like, he's like, yeah, we'll put you in witness protection. He says, okay, listen, I got hundreds of thousands of dollars on the street. I got to go chase some money around. I need a couple of days. And yeah. they're like, okay, well, we're going to stay with you. You know what I mean? So- mm -hmm. They stayed with him a couple of days, and he runs around chasing him, getting his orders and fair affairs in order. Meanwhile, as they're getting it's, follow this closely, yeah. while he's getting his orders and and uh, as fairs in order, yeah, they're in custody of him. Right, he is brought to a hotel, the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Yep, in which on this day, down in the in the ballroom is the, yep. a party. Being held by Tony Jacaloni for his 40th anniversary party. Essentially, the entire Detroit Mafia is there. My grandparents, yeah. my mother might have been there. So the whole, yeah. the whole thing. They're all downstairs in the basement, Correct. right? So now, they he they arrange Tony Jack arranges for the FBI to bring this witness who's going to cooperate and testify against them to this hotel, and then during the party. There's two agents there say, hey, listen, we got to leave for a minute. The next detail will be here in about 10 minutes. Just You'll be fine. You, your girl, and your kid, just hang tight. You'll be good. The detail walks out of here, and in comes walking an assassin team. They slit his throat. They put a bag over the, the, the wife's head, and the kid's out. Slit his throat, take his bag, walk out, and then, of course, the, the FBI team shows up 10 minutes later to a massacre. Jesus Christ. They arranged with the, using the FBI to bring this rat – in so they could kill him and imagine wow. the dirt and the egg that is on the face of the fbi facing this this is an informant about to testify not really against even the mob guy himself but an associate Correct. of the mob guys and they are under like they're they're charged of protecting the mother effort and Correct. they leave him for 10 minutes they slit his throat whatever it's a terrible scene but this is so, a good example so watch so so you're talking you're talking infrastructure you're talking of the yeah. fabric of law enforcement judges exactly. uh, prosecutors yeah. uh, another thing is i noticed because i i used to actually work in in michigan a little bit the bloomfield hills and, and other areas and um there's a large Chalde chaldean population yeah, yeah. and i yeah. understand also the detroit mob work would also them. work with these guys oh, and yeah. feed them resources because sure. it's all about it's all about you know you know this combat multipliers right yeah. i can go ahead and try to make 20 guys i may have informants I may have this, I may have that, or I can make five guys, and those five guys can manage the Chaldeans yes, who are happy exactly. to make money, who will take care of the street stuff, but we're the real power behind them. So talk exactly. about the Chaldeans. I always, I always find that interesting, too. Well, the Chaldeans, okay, so that's a funny story, too. I, uh, what I was getting at, by the way, with the Fiona story is the fact yeah. that Whenever somebody has sat down the proffer, you can. We, me and Scott Bernstein did a mob murder timeline on my YouTube channel, yeah, um, yeah. eleven parts. 
And so we can, you can trace it back. Every single time someone has sat down to proper, like the Spionis guy, to 